Aquaponics is the combination of aquaculture and hydroponics. In aquaponics, you grow plants and fish together in one integrated system. The fish waste provides a food source for the growing plants, and the plants provide a natural filter for the water the fish live in. This is the frame of the aquaponics system. And this up here is a tray. It's removable. We can take them in and out. Uh, so so here's, here's how it starts. We're going to have a pump in this barrel right here. Oh, never mind this stuff. Uh, we're going to have a pump in this barrel. It's going to pump water up to the top of this tray. It's going to flow down. See, there's a slight angle. You know, it might look like we've uh, just got really shoddy craftsman skills. But it was indeed done on purpose. And the water's going to flow down and to the end. And there's going to be maybe a float mechanism or maybe just a timer that once the water reaches a certain level, it's going to, the pump's going to shut off and it's going to start to slowly drain out and down into this second tray that we haven't finished building yet. Um, and it's going to float on down here into a barrel of fish. And from here, once it fills up, uh, it's going to spill over into here. And then there's going to be a second spillover that's going to be just lower than this one. It's going to spill back into this barrel. And the cycle repeats. All right, so this uh, highly technical detailed drawing that you see here is uh, it's the start of a, a worm box uh, vermicomposting. Uh, this starts at the very bottom of the frame, right here. This happens to be uh, like something like three and a half feet tall. I don't know, at 29 and 5 16 inches tall. And uh, it's just under four feet wide in between the two posts, in between the two four by fours here. And uh, so the plan is to have the boxes raised about uh, six inches off the ground so that uh, while well, vermicompost it drains a lot of water as stuff is breaking down so we need to be able to shovel under there or have a drip tray that we can pull that water out it's going to be very high in nutrient content you can either pour it back in the barrels or pour it in some compost either way it's going to work and just figure out what works the best as, as we do it um, so there's going to be two trays. They're going to be about 16 inches deep and uh, about 24 inches wide apiece, just under. There's going to be a 2 by 2 here. It uh, separates down the middle with a horizontal support. It's just going to work like a sled. Up top, we've left uh, about 6 inches for, um, for a mushroom tray. This is all scrap wood, save for this piece of plywood and this piece of plywood under here. It's all, it's all reclaimed. Yeah, we rock. Even though we did kind of overbuild the structure, the structure's probably going to be around longer than the university, than the university will. Want to see a pro at work? Zoom in here, check this out. Building our aquaponics system, we used 4x4s for our post, 2x4s for our tray frames, and plywood for the tray panel. The one difference between the two trays is the outside walls are different dimensions. One of the walls is 6 inches high, while the other is 4 inches high. 
The reason for this is so that we could have a diversity of water-based plants and soil-based plants. We cut the rubber lining and fit it into the trays using roofing nails to hold it in place. We use two 55-gallon drums, cutting one in half and cutting a panel out of the other. One half of the drum will hold a variety of water-based plants, snails, and minnows, while the other half will hold a few water-based plants, the pump, and a filter. The 55-gallon drum with the panel cut out will hold goldfish and a naturally growing food source for the fish. Numerous plants can be grown in a hydroponic or aquaponic system. Any leafy lettuce, bok choy, spinach, arugula, basil, mint, watercress, chives, and most common house plants are great options. Certain plants need more nutrients but can be grown in an aquaponic system as well, such as tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers, beans, peas, and squash. For our project, we chose cold tolerant plants such as lettuce, kale, arugula, and cilantro. We planted the seeds in small peat pots. This will make transplanting the seeds into the large trays less stressful on the plants. We also purchased water hyacinth, purple taro, water chestnut, and water lettuce, which is especially a good addition since water lettuce is not only a nitrogen-hungry plant, but is also grown as food for the fish. Uh, so we have a clay base with the soil and the gravel so that their roots can grasp really well for the water. Hydroponics growing, uh, growing plants, yeah. not necessarily uh, yeah. any stereotypes you guys might have. Um, this is um, for a mushroom tray. <laughs>